Hi guys, come out to try the two pizza tray gliders that I've made. They should be identical, they're the same weight. The difference is one has got the dimples on the top and the other has got the dimples on the bottom. This is to try and answer a regular question I get when people see me making things with these pizza trays. Not all the pizza trays have got these dimples, but this particular brand does. So the question was, does it make any difference, a bit sunny there, if the dimples are on the top or the bottom? So we're going to try it. Now, there's no way I can make this a real scientific experiment. I've done my best to make them identical, but you'll never get them identical. Okay, this is where we're going to try and fly it. The grass is long, so there's a good chance I'll just lose them in the grass. I'll have to keep an eye on them. We're using my Evo something or other action camera. I've got it set to 1080p but 60 frames per second because it's a nice bright sunny day. So we'll see what happens. I'll put the hat on and just hope we're pointing in the right direction. Right. Just a test glide. And possibly tail heavy. I've added the fins since I actually did the tests in the garden. Oh, that one's perfect. Let's move the weight forwards a bit. Let's see if that might help. Oh, yes. Right, uh, I'll start from over there, on the path. Dimples on top first. I don't know what these rubber bands will be like. The front two look a bit white and uh, dry. Uh, let's try just a dent gentle bit of a right, no, left turn. Whoa! <laughs> well, that turned into a dive. Same with this one. That one went into a dive. Okay. So, do we go less weight or do we try and trim it? Let's do that test throw again. Oh, just fell down a hole. That's a bit nasty. Have to be careful. Right, if they're gliding okay, but under power, they're climbing, uh, diving. Right. Joshua Finn would glue strips on here to give us fins. I forgot to bring anything, so I'm going to have to bend the tail up.
same again. Well, that worked. Let's give this one a bit of the same. That's what I'm doing. And we've got elevators on the back. Okay, probably too much, so ease that down a little bit. Dimples on the bottom. Okay, ease that one down a little bit. Dimples on the bottom, uh, no, dimples on the top this time. Try this one again. This is Bottom dimples. Yeah, that one's diving a bit. I'm going to take just a bit of weight off the front of this one. That other one seems to float nicely. Another bit of weight off. Another bit of weight off. Reduce some of that. Upside down. Better go and pick that one up, up before I forget where it went. Oh, there's that hole again. Let's try a higher launch. So Top dimples, higher angle, collect it before we forget it. actually looked like it was stalling a touch then, didn't it? Give that another go. Higher angle. Oh, 
that one's gone upside down. Hole there, yes. actually coming from that direction so let's try launching windward I don't want them to turn over like that no airfoil so there's no particular reason for it to want to fly one way up or the other we're just flat plates let's try this one high angle wind upside down okay let's try near vertical launch <coughs> sorry about that, that was a horse fly oh well should have covered myself with fly repellent first shouldn't I right, vertical or near vertical Try the other one. Vertical ish. Uh, upside down. Huh. Gonna click that one first. I suppose I could put the fin on the bottom. To encourage it to go the other way. I hate horse flies. I always react bad to them. Add one more rubber band. Right, bottom dimples. Nope. Top dimples.
upside down. Yeah, not so stable that time. Take a bit more weight off this one. This is bottom dimples. We even saw that. Uh, it's hopelessly tail heavy now. most of the weight put back on again. <sighs> Dived. Elevator back again. Going around in circles with this one a bit, aren't we? Bottomed impulse, elevator, weight. Slightly less elevator. Less weight. Flies. All right, let's try that a bit more of a lazy angle.
Well, it stayed the right way up. But it certainly isn't gliding. Or at least not, not floating like the other one is. <laughs> Got me. Okay, if in doubt, change hands. Well, that made a difference. Again. Better. Oh, making a mess, so go and collect it before we forget it. The only trouble is, none of this is really going to prove anything about the dimples. So there's just a, obviously a minor variation between the build, even though I've kept them as close as possible. Give that one more go with my left hand. Flicked upside down. Let's try this one left handed. So, top dimples, left handed. Oh, that one is so much better, isn't it? Even though that's diving a bit. Absolutely no way of knowing whether that's the dimples having an effect. It looks like it is, but I wouldn't like to put money on it. I'd have to make a dozen of these. I nearly forgot where this one was. Right, this is going to be the last flight for both of them. Top dimples, left-handed, near vertical. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, maybe one more flight. Bottom dimples, nearly vertical, left-handed. Give this one one more flight. This is top dimples, left handed. It's gone upside down.
Right, I said it was the last flight, but I'm going to give them both one more. I'm going to give top dimples, right hand. One upside down. come back to me. Beautiful. Caught it. Bottom dimples, left hand. <laughs> that looked like that was going to go all right then for a second. And then it flipped over. Got to go. One more go with this one. Bottom dimples, left handed. That's going to land in the pond. Oh, what's it doing? <laughs> That'll have to do. My wife's sitting in the car waiting. So that was... Top dimples and bottom dimples really can't tell them apart. Top dimple seems to be flying better but there's obviously more trimming to do. So that'll do for today. I expect the cameras run out anyway. usually full of frog spawn. There's obviously something in there. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and Enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.